We have an update on five turtles that were being rehabbed at the Animal Rehabilitation Keep. This is happening on Mustang Island this morning, and our Shelby Coppage was there with a crowd of beachgoers who showed up for this special event. We're ready for some turtles! We're glad to have you! Turtle releases always draw a crowd, but the people who went to this release witnessed something extra special. So today we're releasing five sea turtles. Uh, what's interesting about today is that uh, there are actually five different species of sea turtles in the Gulf of Mexico, and we're releasing three of those. These turtles range from two to 18 years old and were taken to the Ark in Port Aransas for treatment of some injuries. Some were found tangled in fishing lines, accidentally hooked, or washed up to shore dehydrated. Uh, you know, there's almost no chance of you ever seeing these things. Uh, the thing about sea turtles is they don't come up on land to sun or anything like that. So if they're on land, something's wrong. Some of these turtles are endangered breeds who went through rehab and surgery to get their strength back to be able to go back into the water. These people got to see a rare collection of sea turtles that most people will never see in their lifetime. It was awesome. Yeah, it's amazing that they're doing this for them. Yeah. Four of these turtles were rescued in May and one last winter. Now all five are healthy and back home. Save the titties. Don't let it in the ocean. Shelby Coppage, Chris Six News. Oh, they're flapping because they're so happy. You see all the people there. The turtle release was held on what would have been Tony Amos's birthday. The release happened on the beach that was named also in his honor. And Wednesday marks the two-year anniversary of his death.